Hello, here's a quick update for the rig that I've been working on. I've added some bendiness to these bones. I've done that using the the ease out on the curved bones options for V bones. And I've also done a quick animation. So I'll show you that. It's just short but it's it's quite nice, it's quite floppy. Here's a quick tip for getting that kind of floppy effect. What you need to, to do <coughs> is when you're rotating a hierarchy, an FK hierarchy, um, this bone rotates and this bone rotates also in this kick motion. But in order to get the floppy motion, the floppy effect, you need to, when you're rotating both of these in the hierarchy, you need to rotate this one slightly later. Than this one. So all you do is you set your keyframes as usual. You set the rotation at the beginning and at the end, and then you take the keyframes for this bone and you delay them. You put them forward in the animation. So if you look at this window here, the F curve editor, these are the keys for the um, for the thigh bone here. Then if I click on the shin bone, you can see the corresponding keys for the shin bone are one, two frames delayed. So that's how you get that kind of delayed floppiness going on. As far as the leg itself is concerned anyway. Also with the foot, because there's no power in the foot, you have to when you're rotating it, it should follow through, it should it should follow behind the leg. So when the leg starts to rotate forwards, you can see the, the foot kind of drags behind. So the way you do that is when you're rotating these ones forwards, when it starts to come forwards fast, you rotate this one backwards. So you watch it rotate slightly in the opposite direction so that it's kind of dragging behind. And then only once, it, once the leg stops, only once the leg stops, the foot follows through and also the toe as well. Now one one frame. It's just the toe is only delayed by one frame. So you wouldn't have thought that, that would make a big difference, but it really does. It, it adds a lot to the animation. So let's have another look at it. So there are some tips for animating. Now what I'd really like to do be to control the bendiness of all these bones using just one control so I can switch between bendy and straight uh, on all of the bones in this leg. So the way I'd do that would be to uh, select the bone and then uh, basically I want to be able to drive this value here, the ease out value, I want to be able to drive that for all of these different bones using just this control. So the way you set up a driver, you right click on the one you want to drive, choose add driver. That's turned purple to let us know that it's got a driver on it now. So we'll go to the F curve editor and choose from this menu down here, drivers, and you can see B bone ease out thigh FK. That's the driver I just added. Now, from setting up uh, drivers before in Blender 2.5, I know that I don't need this. That was a modifier, but I don't need a modifier on this F curve. Um, if I choose, I don't need scripted expression. We need average value. You can add a variable, leave the variable name the same, and now we're choosing what we're going to drive the. Uh, driver with object, we're using an object and uh, the object's name is armature. Now we just need this RNA path from object to property used. So where do we find that? Well there are two places. I'll show you the difficult way first. But the It's difficult but more universal. Anything that you want to find in Blender you can find in this window. It's the outliner with the data blocks view selected. So we'll go to objects and we'll choose our armature and we'll scroll down to pose it's quite a long list here pose uh, pose channels and then uh, this is the bone that we're going to use to drive 
the bendiness. It's called bendy, actually. And there's a little bit of a bug here. It seems to not open the one that you expect it to. So I'll close that one again. Then I'll try this again and it won't work. Shin death. And the third time it does work. Not sure why that's the case. but Anyway. Uh, and we need the location. We're going to drive it with the location. So we right click on here and choose copy data path. And then we go into the uh, drivers window. And then just put our mouse over the path area and paste. You can see pose dot pose channel spendy that's the name of the bone we're using to drive it dot location and we've got index here now that's because there are three components to the location that's x y and z because these are based on arrays uh, x is zero y is one and z is two so we can leave this as zero and it'll reference the x channel of this bone have a look at that bone though that's this one you can see it's called armature bendy so um just click on update dependencies on the driver in the fcurve editor and go back and this should be working now but it's not if anyone knows why then I'd, I'd really love to know also there's a quicker way of getting to that path that, that I got earlier just by coming up here in the bone window and right clicking and choosing uh, copy data path from here so there's two ways to do that Anyway, if anyone can help out with this driver issue, then that would be great. Thanks for watching.